Welcome to the big movie Mouth Off. We're in Groovy Cinema Pub. We're doing some films today. We're sponsored by Greywell Entertainment. I am Jimmy Martin, your co-host with Slug Magazine. And I'm Jeff Feist from X96's Radio from Hell show. Today we'll be reviewing The Town, which is the new film directed by Ben Affleck, where Ben Affleck stars as a Bostonian who has a, a family family legacy of bank robberies who lives in, a, in Charlestown, uh, which is the basically the, the bank uh, robbery capital of the world and it's his attempt to try to escape the life uh, with one of the hostages of one of his of, of, recent of, bank robberies yeah, of, 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 <laughs> of, of the latest heist That's uh, th- right. basically the idea is that his character is going to find out whether this person played by Rebecca Hall a regular from uh, Woody Allen movies sure. whether she has the goods on he and his crew which also includes Jeremy Renner from The Hurt Locker and uh, a romance develops between the two, and in the meantime, they're they're being tracked by hunky John Hamm from <laughs> from AMC's Mad Men. Miss Kesey, I would like to start with your abduction. Four men made me open the safe. They took me as a hostage. Were you able to see anything at all through the blindfold? No. When someone endures an experience like this, there are often residual effects. <laughs> You're okay? Just having a bad week. I like to have a good cry at the nail salon. Watch them in my entry. You know what? I, I, I really like this film. Ben Affleck, it's, it's kind of one of those careers that's topsy turvy. You never know what's going to come next. But this one's good, and it's really good. And I think. Uh, since Gone Baby Gone, he's grown a lot. As a filmmaker, I would agree. And and as an actor. And, and, and as an actor. But the interesting leap for me, for him, as a filmmaker and a storyteller, is that Gone Baby Gone is a strict drama that's almost a word-for-word adaptation of the Dennis Lehane novel. Sure, sure. This is a trickier beast. He's got drama to deal with. He's got... Uh, thriller and he got, stages a great car chase he's sequence. got a car chase he's got gunfight scenes i mean it's actually a well-rounded of, of many genres that he's incorporated into this film and then they're all good yeah and and he can direct a cast and he's got a great one here again there's him there's rebecca hall there's uh, there's chris cooper and pete postlethwaite in small but uh legitimate roles in it True. too and uh blake lively from gossip girl who really surprised me in a surpri- in a small supporting role. You, you know who, who didn't, I wouldn't say surprised me because I loved him in The Hurt Locker, but Jeremy Renner almost steals the scene when he's up there with Affleck. And they are, almost? I, it, well, they're, they're battling out pretty good uh, of, of what they're doing on there, but Jeremy Renner is fantastic in he, this film. I think he owns this film. I really do. And he's up that, there with it. And, and that's not taking anything away from Ben Affleck, no. who's a very competent performer, Rebecca Hall. But Jeremy Renner just drips menace. He, <laughs> he is the wild card of this film. You sure. don't know what he's going to do from scene to scene. And that's what makes it so good. It puts it puts everybody on edge. You know, like from from the beginning part, he wants to take out the girl, and and, and this is Ben Affleck's love. I mean, you know, and he's like, no, 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 I'll will take care of it. Don't worry about it. And he's just like, okay, but you can see him itching, just yeah, ready to well, take care of his. Well, if you screw up, I'm going to take care of this later. You know that, right? <laughs> And he's not joking. No, it, as shown in a couple of really effective tense scenes. And sure. when I say tense, there are some really gripping moments in this film. Are you in love with me? Yes. something that looks like a print because it's not screwing around things about to go both ways i want to go with you i'm leaving with somebody else if we get jammed up we'll have them caught on the street i just want you to know that you're gonna die in federal prison i'll see you again this side or the other and, and like you said it's got a fantastic car chase scene but that finale of of, of uh taking out Fenway Park. Yes. And, and what I love about this, if anybody's going to give Boston the credit it deserves, it's going to be Affleck. And and I kind of see this as being Affleck's goodwill hunting. 
where is Matt Damon shined in that one, and I think he, now it's it's his turn to to kind of represent the city and show what he can do for it. So Jeremy Renner gets to be the Robin Williams. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed this. You know who I would hate it, uh, if I were this person? I would hate Ben Affleck now. Kevin Smith, because <laughs> Kevin Smith has not grown as a filmmaker. Ben Affleck has grown as a filmmaker, and I can't wait to see what he does next. I uh, gave the town three and a half stars. You know, I, I I loved it. The only problem I have with it is the ending, because it, and I'm not going to give anything away, but it's it's kind of a stereotypical been there, done that kind it's of ending. It's a little too neat. Yeah, it's, it's got that nice bow on top of it that's just a little bit too good to be true. And so for that, I give it three stars. But it's it's a strong three stars, and, and I, I want to watch it again as soon as I can. 